Now let's go to what a lot of people like to avoid sometimes, but sometimes unavoidable, which is anti-inflammatories and in some more serious cases, opioids. Your thoughts on both, doctor? Long-term, short-term? Right, so o opioids have been the uh, news quite a bit and it's been an epidemic, especially combined with benzos. It's basically killing lots of Americans and uh, over the last decade, there's been this kind of uh, upswing and now downswing of using heavy opioids for pain. We actually know now chronic opioids are not really the best solution for any kind of chronic musculoskeletal pain, uh, which is not from a cancer uh, origin, uh, but rather can cause even your, your pituitary gland, your uh, endocrine system, your hormones to be inter irreversibly uh, affected, which can affect mood uh, and, and everything else uh, related to that. Other medications like over-the-counter NSAIDs and Tylenol, we think that these are benign, uh, meaning that they don't have any side effects, but they can. If you're taking these every day chronically, they really need to be monitored. So if you're taking any medications more than a week, you should probably see a primary care physician to evaluate it. And in general, for chronic use, opioids is not the answer. And something that happens a lot is when everybody gets together at the mall to get moving and doing exercise, they're talking to each other and they're saying, you know, I'm taking this, it's working fantastic, and I'm taking this and it's working fantastic, but this is something where you have to discuss it with your doctor, correct? Because what works for Maria may not be working for Cynthia. Absolutely. You see where I'm going with this? Absolutely. So you have to take all your comorbidities or medical conditions that you have into consideration. So if you have a, uh, some kidney issues, we might go with a different medication. If you have a liver issue, we might go with a different medication. Um, so you really have to think of what's going on. And for example, if you're on a blood thinner for anticoagulation, for uh, atrial fibrillation, you have to be really cautious of what you take over the counter. So please talk to your cardiologist, primary care doctor, or specialist.